This riff is divided into two halves. First up are the chord stabs, and these are followed by a repeating two bar line, which changes slightly each time. There are two chords played as stabs in the opening part. E5 played on the four lowest strings, and E7 sharp 9 played up in sixth position. There are three pairs of stabs on the E5. And there's one pair of stabs on the E7 sharp 9. The first chord of each pair is on the beat, but the second chord falls just before the next beat. So practice your timing and aim for an early feel on that second stab. Here's the next part of the riff in its most basic form. 5th fret, 5th string, hammer on to the 7th fret, and now 5th fret, 4th string. Now play 5th fret and 7th fret again, this time finishing on 3rd fret, 6th string. Next, play a 5th fret to 6th fret slide on the 6th string, followed by 5th fret, 5th string. Finally, run down the 6th string, 6th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, and pull off to the open string. Finish on two E5 chord stabs. The second time through the riff is the same as the first, except instead of starting with a hammer-on, you pick both notes. On the third time through, there's an important note change. As you reach the second bar of music, slide up to the seventh fret and not the sixth. Also, on the second chord stab, strike all six strings this time. You should really hear the top two strings. Finally, on the fourth time through the riff, repeat the seventh fret into the second bar, but this time don't hit the top strings on the last chord.